Hey guys, it's Caleb with White Ball Games here. It is um, the 23rd of uh, December. It's two nights before Christmas. And I'm just doing a quick update uh, on stuff going on here in the studio. So, uh, hope you're having a Merry Christmas. And let's just jump right into it. So, um, stuff we've been working on in the studio recently, we've been trying to get through, just bang through a bunch of different stuff. Been working on a lot of terrain. Uh, so, as you can see here, we've been cutting up a lot of different bases for stuff. We're working on some styrofoam terrain, we're working on some MDF bases working on that. These are going to end up being planets for um, Epic, not Epic, what's it called? Battlefleet Gothic and similar Starship games like X-Wing and TIE Fighter and that sort of, sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to work on some official Imperial Basilica style terrain, some big uh, temples and ruins and that sort of stuff. we got some Necron terrain going on over here. So busy, busy stuff with all that. Uh, we're finally getting around to basing this bad boy. Uh, I've had this guy on my shelf for a while, and I've been trying to get him sold, but he hasn't been moving. So I thought if I put him on a nice, nice oval base, he would finally get to get to pitch. So uh, putting him on a base, we've uh, used some two-part epoxy to get him down there and get him nice and stuck. And then we're going to smooth this over with some filler, which is going to look nice. Uh, here's a spiky barricade we're doing. It's one of our poor man's barricades that we're going to be putting up on eBay soon. Uh, <clears throat> recently, I've been picking up some forge roll pieces. Been doing some work on that. Here is the start of a blight drone. I wanted to do the base work first. So as you can see, this is um, the back end of it where it's going to be gooping all over these tanks. And uh, the the goop to make it splash like that was not simple. It took a couple sessions to figure out the best way to approach it. Here's the rest of the blight drone. He's uh, going to be assembled, but the rest of it's easy. That was the hard part. Um, got a chaplain, which I always like the chaplain dreadnoughts from Forge World. I gave him this big old uh, power scourge because even though he just gets a dreadnought close combat weapon, I love the idea of this chaplain being sort of uh, repentant, and so he sort of uses this on himself and sort of smashes himself on his on the back and stuff, sort of um, like a monk would who's in who's in a state of repentance. Uh, so I like that idea, so I wanted to go with that. Uh, I built him a custom flamestorm cannon. So this is just a regular flamestorm cannon from the um, Blood Angels dreadnought. Not dreadnought, um, predator, that I've mounted into the housing from a normal dreadnought weapon. So you can see there's a pewter cord there at the bottom. I had to redo the cord and fix it up to make it mesh a little bit. Uh, but that turned out pretty well. I like that. I've also got a, 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 a space wolf dreadnought in here that I'm putting together. Uh, let's see what else we got. Working on some new. Um, oh, sorry. There we go. This is a decimator. It's a lot of fun. He's a forge world piece. He's kind of like a jumbo uh, style uh, dreadnought. He's a lot of he's a lot of fun. Ordered some bits from him. These are some slug bodies I'm working on. Uh, I wanted to do sort of a Nurgle Lord lower body for a palaquin, so I came up with this idea to do like a giant slug body. So this is the one in that size for <coughs> um, demon princes. Now, yes, demon princes don't ride on palaquins, um, but I still thought it looked pretty cool. So here's the prototype. He'll mount in like that. And so he's got this giant slug-like lower body. And I think what I'm going to do is cast these up in, in resin and sell those. Uh, I also did some bigger slugs. I'm going to do these as sort of a chariot uh, pull. I've got two of these I'm going to build. So i got to do the top part, but there's the lower body. And uh, I also did a one for a regular Chaos Lord. Here's the one for a regular Chaos Lord. So if you put them on Palaquin, you can give them this as a lower body. And as you can see, that mounts up like so, basically. Give or take. It's not, you know, clearly this is a work in progress, but that's basically how it will work. And then you can just mount them up normally, and you can count them as a Palaquin. Um, so that's a nice, easy way to do that. Um, what else are we working on? Uh, so I guess the bigger stuff I can show you um, over here. So... As you know, we've been doing a lot of Demon Princess recently. Here's one we just finished up uh, this weekend. We did him on Saturday. He is sort of a mini diorama. And he actually just sold. We sold him in 24 hours, which is always nice. Uh, so he's kind of a, a death from above kind of thing. He's a combination of spawn bits, Demon Prince bits. These wings are from a Chimera. Tails from an old Hive Tyrant. Back's been sculpted up. The legs are from a Wyvern. Not a Wyvern, what do they call that thing? I think the Nazgul ride in Lord of the Rings. And uh, he is attacking this jetpack armored marine. He's got a lot of black Templar markings on him. So as you can see, he's been pinned to the marine. The marine's been pinned to the wall. 
they're both flying around. And you can see that works really well. He does have quite a few weights on the bottom to hold him in place. Uh, but he's pretty well balanced, as you can see. He doesn't wiggle, doesn't jiggle at all. And he sold in a day. Uh, I liked him because I liked the avian quality to him. I liked giving him these big sort of mottled wings, this spawn-like head, these lower legs like talons. And I thought he was a lot of fun. He came together really well. Um, it would have been fun to paint up. But, uh, you know, he is sold out the door. Um, Will Shuck, who has been our, one of our first resident painters here, uh, is leaving soon. He got a job in Missouri that he's been finishing up some tyranids for me that uh, I had consigned or I had commissioned through him a while ago. Here's a couple of the pieces he recently did. Uh, so Tyranid Carnifex and Pyrovore. So this was a desert themed army we were working on um, that I think came out real well. He did some of uh, these, what we were calling the Rorschach themed uh, Carnifexes with just some yellow stipling uh, effects and sort of random patterns and on the pyrovore a lot of very naturalistic colors browns and oranges and um, sort of deep golds we also did a squad of warriors Let's see if I can't get them out here so this is a prime we did for the army so it's sort of a massive huge lash whip it was a conversion a big old bone sword and uh, some ravener style siding talons he came out real well I think uh, and then I got a brood of three of these. It's warriors. And they've all got lash whip bone swords too. And these are the actual lash whip bone swords from the GW line. Which when you look at the two compared side by side, you can see the huge difference in the prime versus the warrior. It's a pretty massive difference. They only bear similarities in uh, basic shape. But it really is just a huge kick. Um, and then we've also got some termagants in here. A whole brood of like, I don't know, whatever, 30, 40 gaunts or something in there. Um, mostly devourers, I think. I think they're all devourers, actually. So these are all Daka gaunts, which is a lot of fun. Um, anyway, so those are ready to roll. And what's going to happen is we're going to put all that up in a lot with the Raveners we already have and the Hormagaunts. And uh, those are the pieces we have coming out next. We're going to put it up as like a 2,000 point army and we're going to sell that all together. So that'll be a fun project to sell. Uh, we're hoping people, someone will snatch it up. It'll be a nice, nice kick. Uh, and we're hoping someone will enjoy that. And we're going to use that money to fund our next project and move on. Uh, we've been working on this chaos project for a while that we're eager to finish. Uh, we've got it all converted and built. Now we just have to get it painted. <clears throat> so I'll be doing some of the painting on that. And I've got a resident painter, Mike Hartshorn. He's going to be helping me out with that. Um, when and where you can. Um, and we've also got, you know, new client orders coming in. So if you are interested, please contact us at calebfilm.yahoo.com. Uh, um, we uh, have an active blog where we advertise our services at White Metal Games. So it's H, it's uh, whitemetalgames.blogspot.com. Just look in there. We update it every couple of days with articles, um, conversions, that sort of stuff. You can also see a lot of our work regularly on Spiky Bits. Um, so if you're familiar with Rob Bear's work over there, uh, him and I have a real close working relationship. We team up on projects sometimes, and he likes to feature some of my stuff. So be sure to check out Spiky Bits. They're also your one-stop shop for all your bits needs. Um, they're right up there with Horde of Bits or Battle Wagon, and, and they're, they're, ex they're excellent. They, they get your orders out almost the next day in many cases. Um, so uh, anyway, that's it, I guess, for now. Happy holidays. Uh, if you're interested in anything or you have anything you're looking for or you want to commission a project, just contact us at calebfilmingyahoo.com. And until next time, have a Merry Christmas. Have a great 2013. Happy New Year. And hopefully we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.